Hey guys, I'm Nisha Homi. Today I'm sharing a healthy millet masala dosha recipe ideal as a healthy breakfast meal in your weight loss journey. This video is available in English, Hindi, Tamil, Telugu, Malayalam and Bengali. You can change the audio language by going to the settings gear icon and clicking audio track to choose your preferred language. So let's get started with the recipe. To make millet masala dosha into a bowl I'm adding in one cup of sama rice. Sama rice is also known as little millet. Sama rice or chama rice is a highly nutritious millet and it is completely gluten free. Add in one fourth cup urad dal. 1 teaspoon methi seeds also known as fenugreek seeds add in some water wash and rinse the millets and dal a couple of times or until the water runs clear once rinsed add in some more water and allow it to soak for at least 6 hours soaking for longer period will help to release the phytic acid content in the millet which will help in better nutrient absorption and also in easy digestion. So try to soak millets a little longer than you would normally soak rice. At least six hours of soaking is ideal. Also note that millets when locally sourced may contain sand, dirt or dust particles. So always rinse it thoroughly. So I'm going to soak it for about 7 to 8 hours. After about 7 to 8 hours the millet and dal are nicely soaked. I'm going to rinse it once more and then add it into my blender jar. I'm adding the soaked ingredients into the blender jar. Add in 3 fourth cup water pink himalayan salt as needed add in two tablespoon little millet flakes millet flakes are also known as millet poha so this is little millet poha or flattened little millet and now i'm going to blend this until everything is nicely mixed and blended and it becomes a dosha batter consistency Pour the blended little millet batter into a bowl or a container and with my hand I'm mixing the batter. I'm squishing and mixing the batter like this for about 15 to 20 times. This is highly important as it will help in easy fermentation of the batter. So try not to skip this. Once nicely mixed with hand, cover it with the lid and allow it to ferment overnight or for about 8 to 12 hours. Fermentation times will depend upon the climate of the place you are living in. If you are living in a cold place, you may need longer fermentation time. Note that I am not using a tight lid. We need wild airborne yeast to help with the fermentation process. So do not use a tight lid. The next day morning, the batter has risen well and is nicely fermented. You can see how perfectly the batter has fermented. It is airy and perfectly fermented. The best thing about this batter is that it will stay good in the refrigerator for about 3 to 4 days. And now this millet dosha batter is ready. To make the filling for the masala dosha, I'm heating my pressure cooker with 1 to 2 teaspoons of wood pressed coconut oil. Once the oil is heated, I'm adding in 1 teaspoon mustard seeds and once the mustard seeds starts to splutter, I'm adding in 2 whole Kashmiri chilies which I'm breaking into smaller pieces and adding in. I have already sliced 1 medium sized onion, half inch ginger and 2 green chilies which I have slit. The ginger I have thinly sliced. Some fresh curry leaves. Give it a stir. And allow the onions to become transparent or light pink in color. Once the onion is transparent, I'm adding in half teaspoon turmeric powder. Sea salt as needed. Give it a quick stir. Add in 2 medium sized potatoes roughly chopped, 1 fourth cup water, give it a good stir, cover and pressure cook for 3 to 4 whistles or until the potatoes are nicely cooked. After 3 to 4 whistles, turn off the flame and allow the cooker to depressurize by itself. Once the pressure has depressurized by itself, open the cooker, give it a light mix and you can see there is very little water in the pressure cooker. With a potato masher, I'm mashing the potatoes really well. And once nicely mashed, the potato filling for the masala dosha is ready. 
I personally prefer to allow the potato filling to cool down completely. Benefit of cooling down potatoes is that once the potatoes cool down, it becomes resistant starch. Resistant starch helps in good gut health and also helps in weight loss. I'm heating my cast iron tawa and I'm greasing it with wood pressed ginger oil, also known as thil oil. Pouring in one ladle full of the millet dosha batter and spreading it out as thinly as possible into a round dosha. Drizzle in a little bit of A2 desi ghee or if you are a vegan you can use wood pressed sesame oil instead. Once the dosha starts to get lightly roasted, I am adding in 1 to 2 tablespoon of the cooled potato masala mix and I am lightly spreading it and then carefully fold the masala dosha. You can see that the dosha has become very crispy. Once done, remove it from the tawa and serve to a plate. I am serving the masala dosha with the Moringa coconut chutney. I have already shared the recipe. Links will be updated below this video. Please do check it out. So guys, do try this healthy masala dosha and uh, let me know how it turned out. Thank you for watching and until next time, take care. Bye-bye.